hello guys welcome back this video we will do some prerequisites configuration on this virtual machine so we have seen how to deploy the virtual machine and we got a public IP address to connect copy that public IP address then now we can open in putty just paste it here and use SSH auth whatever the public key and uh, here I can save it with some name and I'm just adding here like a VM admin at and uh, I can just name it as master01 and then save okay and uh, next time onwards I can use this save session to connect so I am connecting with the VM admin and it's using in backend whatever the credential or the key we have provided so due to some uh, network bandwidth issues it's uh, taking some time so normally it connect very fast and again I just need to change the font that is also I'm changing from here just hit here load then appearance increase the font size and then color I'm using the system color and again back to here session save it okay so if I open here so this is opening with a new font size and color so that's it we are able to connect uh, using this VM admin so again yeah we are here so with the VM admin we should be able to log into root user by using this sudo su command now we can do all the prerequisites here uh, and we will do those things one by one so these are the some of the prerequisites i just noted down so the first step we need to set the host name so we already have the host name uh, here so if we do a restart definitely this will uh, change again so we need to restart this vm to get the proper name so already the name is there i'm not going to change the host name and the next is the firewall since hadoop require a uh, lot of process to communicate each other from master to other worker host so definitely lot of ports we need to open so since i'm not uh, sure like it's again a uh, time consuming process on this firewall configuration like uh, we need to uh, open only the ports which are needed but here i'm disabling the firewall local firewall itself again it's not a good practice but if you are working in an enterprise you need to check with your firewall team and open those particular firewall ports alone or ports alone and uh, the next thing so we need to disable AC Linux so we can just check what is the current uh, AC Linux configuration from this file etc AC Linux config just to see so this is in enforcing mode this has to be changed to disable state so what you can do here is just open this file and uh, uh, change it AC Linux to disable so I have a script here so basically I can use this script or uh, save entire thing as a script and do this or just to copy this line alone and to do now if I do uh, etc sc linux sorry sc linux config so you can see this sc linux is disabled and again we need to do a reboot and next is the VM swappiness. So VM swappiness will tell uh, when to use virtual memory. So we know our system consists of a physical memory, RAM, and a portion of hard disk which is using as a virtual memory. So that is called virtual memory. So VM swappiness is uh, used or parameter is used to control when to use virtual memory. So VM swappiness 10 means when 90 percentage of physical memory is used then only it start consuming the virtual memory so again this is just a 
performance improvement uh, option so again without this also you can run the hadoop but it's better to set as 10 in worker host so it's mainly needed to do it and at the worker host but i am doing it in my uh, host also i mean the master also and so next is we need to install ntp service ntp stands for network time protocol so which is used to synchronize the time between a worker and a master so we need the same uh, time to be maintained and uh, it will synchronize the time from uh, time server and uh, that is installed and once that is installed we can turn on this ntpd service from this command <laughs> Okay, enable means the next reboot onwards, the service will be always up and running. And again, I just need to execute this line and uh, for uh, doing that. Okay, so this will uh, disable uh, THP, transparent huge page. Basically, it will add an entry in etc rc.local. So you can see this is the line basically this two line will be executed to disable THP THP is a transparent huge page so that has to be disabled and again uh, once that is done you just need to give the execute permission basically etc rc dot local if you do etc rc dot local so it's a pointing to rc dot d rc dot local so that is the file we just need to give execute permission to this file okay so this is the original file etcrc.local is a symbolic link so, so most of the time i have uh, seen like this file is not getting executed because of this so we need to execute or add execute permission to this file and uh, the next is we need to install or httpd service this is needed for us to host our local repository so i'm installing using the m y install httpd okay so this will fetch the package from its repository and install so once this is installed so we can just use systemctl enable httpd so I'm just enabling HTTPD service so that in the next reboot onwards this will be up and running. I can just uh, start this one to see. Okay. And uh, another uh, prerequisites is uh, like you may need to uh, have uh, uh, this by default. Uh, the Cloudera will be using Postgres DB and again the Postgres 10. So maybe if your system you, it doesn't have the Postgres 10 install, uh, I mean the Postgres 10 repository available, so you won't be able to do the installation. Uh, so for example, if you just try, you can just try this. Yum install Postgres 110. See. In my case, I don't have a repository available for this. So definitely the Cloudera Manager installation will fail because by default, the Cloudera Manager is trying to install this one. So for that purpose, so I'm just referring this link again uh, for downloading and installing this Postgres. So the link is HTTPS. This is the URL and this RPM. I'm just trying to install so once I install this so I'll have the repository uh, file added so if I just check etc m.repos.d so I can see this file is added so this is a repo file now if I execute this one this will work Okay, maybe it takes some time to sync the repository. This time this is asking. I'm not installing at this time. So you need to make sure that repo is added or else what you can do is etc 
m dot repos dot d this uh, file you need to add it in your repository better download and install that rpm so the next is very important thing you need to make sure you have enough space in your uh, system so especially if you are installing cloudera manager and cdh or cloudera runtime so it will be utilizing slash opt cloudera again uh, we have very few uh, disk space under slash here and again slash mnt resources some sort of temporary space available so we have seen like during the deployment we just added one more hard disk like if if we just go to the disk you can see so we have added one more hard disk with the 64 gig let's just see f disk iphon l and see uh, we have that one more hard disk available so I'm just using F disk, then that disk, N for creating a new partition, then I'm just creating the primary partition, then partition number by default is 1, and uh, uh, again just type enter to select the default, then the size you can give, or if you g leave it as a default, it will use the entire volume available in that disk. So this is the the default is this one okay so this is between this one so i'm just choosing everything as default then w for writing so you can see this is around 64 gig so w for writing so now if i just use ft iphone l i can see stc1 okay so stc1 is also available so let's see uh, what are the mounted uh, volumes okay and uh, this sdc i just need to format so we can use mkfs dot ext4 this one because all our file systems are ext4 here i'm just choosing uh, uh, formatting it as uh, ext4 so this is now formatted and now we need to add this entry into uh, fs tab so for that i'm just creating a directory mkdir slash opt cloud error and uh, this one i need to mount this volume to this directory so we can just use some sample uh, mounting syntax Okay, uh, see this one we can choose and instead of uh, this one I just need to use uh, this volume slash dev stc1 and uh, where I need to mount that is a opt cloud error and uh, this one i'm just taking ext4 is a file system and uh, that's it just uh, use this option so we have slash stc and uh, we are mounting to slash opt cloud error so i'm just adding it into etc fs tab and uh, come to the end insert mode and uh, adding here so you can see this is the hard disk i just uh, partition and formatted and this is the directory which i created i am and these are the mounting option i just copied for the one which or the one system used default just save it now if you want to check this fs tab work so you can just use the mount iphone a so in case if you have some error in the file definitely it will throw that exception here now if you just use the mount you can see this opt cloud is also mounted now df iphon h that's it here we are getting this is mounted so that's it about uh, the prerequisites let's uh, reboot this machine and connect back again so just type this reboot command then execute so hope you enjoyed this learning 
so we will see in the next video thank you